scriptures about Israelites. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21 me get it. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment hath taken hold on me. Lamentations chapter 4. Verses 2 and 8. The tongue of the suckling child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. Verse 8. Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bone. It is withered. It is become like a stick. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barat, Barnabas and Simon or Simeon, Simeon that was called Nagir and Luska, L-U-C-I-U-S, Lucas of Syrian and Manon, which had been brought up with Herod, the treacher and Saul, T E R. A R C H. I don't know what that is. Um, Exodus chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Exodus chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And the Lord said, Furthermore unto him, Put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it turned again as, the, uh, as his other flesh. Exodus chapter 4 verse 4. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. Daniel chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. 
Samuel chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girt with fine gold of Uphaz, U-P-H-A-Z. His body, as, uh, his body also was like the burrow, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polish brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 through 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 15 through 68. Okay. Verses 15 through 68. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kin, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and unto thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he hath consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with the consumption, and with a fever, and with the inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with lasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven, shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies, Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, and with the emerald, and with the scab, and with the itch whereof thou cannot canst not be healed. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart, and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Thou shalt brother a uh, betrothal wife and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation 
which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore botch that cannot not be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall, send, shall lead thee. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shall gather but little in, for the locusts shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vine vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coasts, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine oil shall cast her fruit. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All thy trees and fruit of land of thy land shall the locusts consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up, up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee far from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce continents which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kin, or flock of thy sheep until he hath destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy high and fenced walls come down, wherein thou trusted throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy son and thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath given thee in the siege and in the uh, straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children, whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left in the siege and in the straightness wherein, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee, in all thy gates, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter and towards her young one that cometh out from between her feet and towards her children which she bear, for she shall eat them for 
want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed even great plagues, and of long continence and sore sickness, a long continuance and sore sicknesses, and for long uh, continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed, and ye shall be le left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of th the Lord thy God. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and he shall and ye shall be plucked from off the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one uh from the one end of the earth unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have no assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were eve, even. And at even that thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Um, Acts chapter 21 verses 37 through 39. Acts chapter... 21 verses 37 through 39. Okay. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian which therefore these days made us an uproar? and led us out into the wilderness four thousand men that were murderers. But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus, a city in Syria, a citizen of no mean city. And I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. Um, Exodus 4. Wait, where am I at? Um... That was Acts 21. Okay. Revelation 1, 14 and 15. That's where I'm at. Excuse me. Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. Um, And I looked and beheld a white cloud. And upon the cloud... Is that right? No. Excuse me. I'm, I got mixed up. It's Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. His head and his hair were light, white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice 
as the sound of many waters. Okay, so I need to read Revelation chapter 1 so you know who they're describing for those who don't know. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John. So he sent what Christ looked like by his servant John. And so the description of Christ was Revelation chapter 1 verses 14 and 15. His head, Christ's head, and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. When they say his head, it's not talking about his face. It's talking about the hair on his head, the color of the hair and the texture. And it says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Um, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Hebrews chapter 7, mm -hmm, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Okay, so Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1 says, The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. So Solomon is making the statement. Verse 2, let him kiss me. With the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine. Verse 3. Because of the savor of thy good ointment, thy name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. Verse 4. Draw me, we will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee. In verse 5. Song of Solomon, verse 1, verse of uh, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon. Okay, may the Lord add a blessing to the read of all these uh <laughs> to the reading of all these verses.